Hi, today we're going to work on division. Objective. Today I will be able to divide a two-digit number by a one-digit number. You'll need a piece of paper and a pencil, so please go get your supplies, pause the video, and when you're ready, come back and push play. Welcome back. Okay, there are steps to division. Um, they're very important to remember, and yeah, it's important to remember to do them in order. Uh, we had steps when we did multiplication, and division also has uh, certain steps that you have to follow. There's an acronym, remember that's kind of a funny phrase that you can use to remember, and the first letter gives you a hint on what the rest of the, um, the clue is. So let's take a look at that. Okay, our first hint is dead monkeys smell bad. And they do. Um, this is supposed to is supposed to be funny, so you remember it. But it's also supposed to help you remember the steps in division. So let's take a look at those steps. Uh, the first one is uh, the D in dead. That stands for divide. The M in monkeys stands for multiply. The S in smell stands for subtract. And the B in bad stands for bring down. So dead monkeys smell bad should make your brain remember. Divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. All right, we're going to test that. We're going to start with a very simple division problem. And I know it's something you can probably do in your head, and you already know the answer before I stop talking. But the reason I'm going to give you a simple one, and we're going to start there, is I want you to learn the steps. And so we're going to start here. All right, when we um, take a look at this, we're saying 8 divided by 2. That's the proper way to read this. 8 divided by 2. So you ask yourself, I have 8, let's say, pieces of candy, and I want to put it into two piles. That's what happens when you divide. You are breaking things apart. You are dividing them into certain groups. And here we have 8 pieces of candy, and I'm going to put them in two different groups. Well, we could do that and divide them up one at a time, but we have math that's going to help us do that quicker. All right, the first thing we're going to do is you're going to ask yourself, dead monkey smell bad, what is the D? The D stands for divide. So the first thing you have to ask yourself is 8 divided by 2. How many 2's can I get out of the number 8? Everybody should be thinking. If you said 4, you are correct. Okay, so we're going to put the 4 right above the 8 because the 8 was the number we were dividing up. All right, and it needs to make sure and line up. I'm very picky about these numbers being lined up when you divide, or you will get lost. Um, the next step, the M in monkeys. That means to what? Multiply, you're right. M in monkeys means to multiply. So the numbers you're going to multiply are the 4 times the 2. So 2 times 4 is 8. And you write that digit down right below the number you were looking at before the 8. Okay, and yes, I know they're the same numbers, but that's nice. It's going to help us with our next step. All right, the S in smell bad. That means to subtract. So what we're going to do now, let me fix that four, is you're going to subtract this eight and this eight. So really, remember, you always subtract the bottom number from the top. So let's put our subtraction sign and draw a line. Eight, take away eight is zero. That's correct. Now the next step is bring down. What you do is you look at the next digit, there's, if there's a digit right here, and you would bring it down. But we don't have a digit there. So, so far, this has been pretty simple. And it's something you probably saw in third grade. I just used it to review the steps. Okay, now let's look at one that's a little bit more uh, complicated, where we get to do all the steps. Okay, we've got 84 pieces of candy. We're going to divide them into two groups. So we have 84, and it's going to be divided into two groups. The first thing we need to look at is the D in dead, monkey smell bad. That means to what? That's correct. That means to divide. Before we go on further, I want you to write this problem down right now. So pause the video and write the problem down, and then push play. Okay, welcome back. All right, the first thing we need to do is divide. So you're going to look at the very first number that's inside this division bar, okay? which is the 8. We're going to ignore the 4 for now. Let's look at the 8. How many 2's can I get out of 8? Well, we just did that problem, so this one should be easy for us. 
If you said 4, you are correct. We can get 4 times 2 equals 8. So we can get 4 things into 2 groups in each group. So we divided. Next step is to multiply. Now we're going to multiply that 4 times the 2 and your answer goes right below the 8. So 2 times 4 is 8. We're writing that. Next step is to subtract. So we're going to subtract 8 from 8, which is 0. And since we have another digit, remember the B means bring down. We're going to look at the digit right next door, not that, <laughs> right next door, which is a 4. Okay, that 4 needs to be brought straight down and it needs to go next to the answer to the last time we subtracted, okay? So what I ask my students to do, I'm going to switch colors, is I ask them to extend this line right here to the edge of the 4 and bring a line straight down and their arrow tip goes on that line. That says that the 4 needs to go down below that line. So then I'm going to write the 4, okay? And I am picky about you drawing those arrows. I know it seems silly, but when you have a lot of digits, it's going to keep you, keep you straight. All right, well, we just finished the B in, bring down. But look, you never want to have empty space above your last digits. Every digit, after you write your first number, every digit inside the division bar must have a digit above it. Okay? So this 4 does not have a digit above it. That means we're not done. That means we go back to the beginning and we are going to start all over. So let me erase our marks. All right, the D means what? Divide. That's correct. So now I want you to look at this 4 right here. Not this one. This one. 4 divided by 2. It's real important that you pay attention to this number down here, not the one directly under the division bar. We brought that number down. And so now we have to look at the last step. 4 divided by 2. How many 2's can you get out of 4? Think about it. If you said 2, you are correct. I'm going to stay with the green. 2. Okay, so we just did the D in division. The M in monkeys means to multiply. You are correct. So the next step is we're going to multiply 2 times 2 equals 4. And you're going to write that number underneath the number you just brought down. Okay? Make our subtraction symbol. And that's the next thing we're going to do is subtract. So 4 take away 4 is 0. And the next step is bring down. I want you to take a look. Is there a digit here? Nope, there's not. That means we're done. So really, when you look at this problem, we have 84 pieces of candy divided into two groups. That means each group has 42 things in it. So if we draw a picture of that, here's one group, here's two groups. We said that each group has 42, that doesn't look like a 4. Let me see if I can fix that real quick. Sort of, kind of. Okay, there's 42 here and 42 here. We have two groups and each group has 42. Okay, out of curiosity, let's just line those guys up and let's add them up and see if we get 84. 2 plus 2 is 4, and 4 plus 4 is 8. Did we get 84? We did. So we did that right. Okay, how are you doing? Let's do another one. Okay, this one is 99 items divided into three different piles. Okay? That's how you read that. 99 divided by 3. First step is the D. Do you remember what that means? It means division. So we're going to divide. Okay, so make sure you have this problem written down. And the first step is we're going to divide. And if you remember, we're going to look at that first digit, which is the 9. We're going to divide it by the 3. Okay, so how many 3's can you get out of a 9? If you said three of them, you are correct. So we're going to write the three right above that first nine because that's the number we were looking at. Okay? So we took care of the division. Now let's take a look at the M in monkeys. What does that stand for? It means multiply. And the numbers you multiply 
are this 3 times this 3. So the number up here times that number. So 3 times 3 is 9. And the next step is to S and smell, subtract. That's right. So we're going to subtract the 9 from the 9, draw our line. And 9 from 9 is 0. So write the 0 down. Okay, now we're on to the next step. The B in bad means bring down. That's right. Remember, the bring down means you're looking at the next digit and it needs to come down right in this spot right here, right next to that 0. So that's what we're going to do next. I'm going to bring that 9 down, make the tip of your arrow touch that line, and the 9 goes right below it. Okay? Now, we're going to look at this number down here. Not this one. We brought it down for a reason. 9 divided by 3 is 3. You're correct. So we're going to write that down right there. Now remember, after we brought down, we're going back to the divide. We just did that. Now we're moving on to the M in monkeys, which is multiply. So now we need to multiply. 3 times 3 is 9, and that number gets written down below the two numbers that you're looking at. In this case, we have the 0 in the front. We went ahead and left it there for a placeholder, and that 9. Okay, that's the number we're looking at, so your first answer goes right below it. The next step is the S in smell, so subtract. 9 from 9 is 0. And the next step is the B in bad, bring down. Is there anybody to bring down? Nope. All right, so if we're going to check this answer, and I'll show you how to check it later with multiplying, but right now we're using easy numbers, so we're going to add. We're going to look at, we have three groups, so I need to draw three groups first. One, two, three. And this number right here says we have 33 things in each group. Okay, so we're going to write the number 33 in each group. Okay, now we're going to add these, oops, we're going to add these together and we're hoping we get 99. Let's go ahead and add it together. Let me draw my adding symbol. 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 3 more is 9, and 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 3 more is Nine. Good. So we had 99 things. Does that check? Yes, it does. Very nice. Okay. You guys are doing great. Uh, we will practice more of this tomorrow. And um, on the video, I just wanted you to play along and use the video for practice. And tomorrow you will have more exercises to do in class. So today, you're able to say, I was able to divide a two-digit number by a one-digit number, and I will bring my work in tomorrow to turn in. I want you to turn your notes in that we just did, okay?